Hey everybody, it's Troy here. Just wanted to make a real quick video to basically cover my last three months on Garuda Linux. About a month ago, I did a video showing an in-depth install, and I think about a month and a half, two months ago, I did a video saying it's the greatest Linux experience I've ever had. Now I want to revisit that. Can I still say today that it's the easiest operating system and cleanest feel that I've had ever using Linux? Now, having said that, there's a lot of things I take into account. The first of those is resource usage. Generally, when I use an operating system, I don't really get too picky about the resource usage. But one of the things that really pulled me into Garuda, and if you look at this screenshot right here, at rest, with nothing running in the background, I'm using about 700 megabytes of memory. 730.8 to be exact. Now, people would ask, why am I screenshotting this? Well, at present, I'm running dual monitors. I've got OBS in the background, and I do have console open in the background. So if I switch over to that monitor real quick, that's what you'll see on your screen now is the second screen. I've got the console open right here. And then I have OBS running up here. And then I've got, of course, my image viewer on the first screen. So I'll go ahead and switch back to my first screen. And being lightweight is really important to me. But it's not so important that I want to use an XFCE or maybe a window manager that gets me down to two or 300 megs. Because I'm not really that crazy about keeping that number that low. What I do say, though, is those of you that are running Windows 10 or Windows 11 know that when you're open just to desktop, you're running anywhere from 2.7 gigs of RAM all the way up to 3.3 gigs of RAM. Now, I have people all the time tell me in my comments, hey, unused RAM is wasted RAM. Well, I agree and disagree with you. If I'm opening up applications, say it be OBS, like I have going on my second monitor right now, yes, use my RAM. That's what it's there for. But just to be open up in desktop, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. So that's one of the things I wanted to point out. Another thing I want to point out is the fact that I truly love Fire Dragon. Now, once you open Fire Dragon up, I have it set to open up to the Cirex search engine. Now, I do want to point something out. If you want to use Fire Dragon and Cirex as your search engine, there's a couple of tweaks you're going to have to make. Like right now, let's say we were doing a search for Linux. And you bring that up and go over to images. You'll see that you've got images that just aren't loading. And this bothers me sometimes, especially if I'm in a, in a design mode and I'm doing a thumbnail or I'm doing a wallpaper and I've got to have images that have transparency included with them or just images in general. This happens. Let me show you how to fix that. All you got to do is go up here to preferences, go down here to privacy and disable the proxy on your images. Image proxy disabled. Go ahead and save. Go back home. Now what you want to do is let's do a search for Linux. Put that in the screen. Then go to images and all of them should load pretty smooth and pretty quickly. So you don't have an issue there. That's just a quick tweak you can do. Now another thing, if you go over here and do home and let's do a search real quick. I'm just going to put eBuzz. I should have put eBuzz Central. Let me put eBuzz Central in there. And we go to images. That looks good. Go back to general. You'll see over here your search URL is clear. Now, sometimes, let's go over here. If you go to preferences, you can go to engines. You can assign engines. I'm pulling right now things from Bing, from DuckDuckGo, from Quant. Uh, now, you could add Google if you wanted to. But here's some of the issues you might have with that. Let's go ahead and go down here and click save. Now, let's go home. Now you want to go to eBuzz Central. And it'll show over here that we had some images that timed out. Brave crashed and Google suspended too many requests. That happens sometimes here. So what you do is you just go over to Preferences. Go to your engines. Turn off Brave. Turn off Google. So now I'm getting them from Quant, DuckDuckGo, and Bing. And Bing has some pretty good searches, but the key here, guys, is that you're getting the results from these search engines, but you're not sharing your personal information. So let's go ahead and go to save, go back to home. Now, when you do that same search, you can pull it up. 
it'll be clear over here you have no red flags. Now what you want to do is make sure that, let's say we want to visit uh, MX Linux. Now, this also has, if you look up here, you block origins up here. That'll block any trackers that might pop up. You can click on it and it'll show you since install, I've blocked 869 domains connected, 10 out of 10 blocked on this page three. Now here's what's weird is because this is MX Linux, but there were three trackers on this page. So that goes to show you, I know for a fact that MX Linux isn't tracking people that these have been integrated into the web and it's just things you want to block. Now it shows that we've blocked seven. So let's go click it. Blocked on this page seven. So there have been seven attempts to track me on this page. Just something to keep your eye on, guys, and keep your head up and keep keep alert about your information when you're surfing on the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and close out a Fire Dragon. I've loved it. I use boxes. It's been a nice, smooth, consistent feel. Every time I boot something up, it makes things easy. I'm going to go right here. Let's go to HTOP. And right now we're running about 1.7 gigs of RAM. And remember, the reason is, is because right now at present, I am running OBS in the background on a second monitor. Now, Garuda Assistant, or Garuda Welcome, when you open it up, this meets you at every boot unless you shut it off then it won't then you got to go search it up this garuda assistant right here has made things easy what i have noticed is every time i do a system update i've done it from right here i've had no issues zero you can clear caches down here you can clear package caches down here i've been on this for 90 days now and i have no issues at all i have updated and nothing has quit working Everything stays smooth. Even about a month ago when you had the uh, Grub update that really messed with some Arch installs, no issues here. Zero. I never skipped a beat. I panicked when I read that article online and I was like, oh no, should I update? Should I wait to update? And I'm not had any issues. It did not affect Garuda. I mean, at present, I'm running 5.19.8 Zen 1 1 Zen kernel. Uh, and it's just on an idea pad, Lenovo. I've got an old hard drive, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. And I'm doing all my video editing. I'm doing all my picture editing. I'm doing all my thumbnail creation. I'm doing my business. I mean, guys, there's nothing I can say right now that would be sideways or bad about this operating system. Even when I was on Manjaro, even when I used Manjaro, Every update, it seemed like I had to redo something. I had to fix a theme or I had to get a, a application back to running. And I can't say that on Garuda. Now, doing content the way I do for Linux, I'm going to keep Garuda on a laptop. But at this moment in time, I've got to find something else to try to use as a daily driver. For the simple fact that if I'm going to do reviews about Linux and what's going on and what's out there, I've got to switch up. And that's where you guys come in. I'm going to need some suggestions. What do you guys think? What What is the next operating system I should give a shot and make my daily driver to see if I can use it on a daily basis and create my content for the YouTube channel? I'll put that in you guys' hands. Three months later, Garuda Linux. Everything is simple. Everything is up and running. Everything is stable. I'm running dual monitors. Everything runs smooth. I'm just telling you guys, if you want to try an OS and you want to try something you haven't given a shot to yet, and especially if you haven't tried Arch, this makes things easy. I know this is Arch based. It's not pure vanilla Arch, but if you're somebody that doesn't have the time to sit there and toy and tinker with an OS every day, Garuda has taken all those problems and made it real easy to run an Arch-based distro, and made it easy for you to get work done in that Arch-based distro. So, what's my verdict after three months? Garuda Linux is still the best Linux experience I've ever had. Garuda Linux is still the most stable experience I've ever had. 
Garuda Linux is the most non-resource intensive experience I've ever had. And Garuda Linux, hands down right now, in my opinion, when it comes to Arch distributions, is the best Arch distribution out there. And that's comparing it against Manjaro, Endeavor. I know my comments will blow up. Endeavor's great! Endeavor is it, man! And it might be for you. But for me, this is what I, I like. So, if you disagree with any of the comments or agree with any of my comments in this video, please drop those in the comments below. Do me a big favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on YouTube, buying us a cup of coffee, going on over to PayPal and throwing us a donation, or zipping over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.